so hello everybody so today I will be talking about salvation so what is salvation salvation is believing in Christ who delivers us from our sins and its consequences okay so uh, according to the Bible we are all sinners we all fall short of the glory of God okay we've all done things that God has forbidden whether you used drugs in the past, whether you used alcohol, whether you stole, um, even gossiping is considered a sin, you know, uh, bad mouthing people, that's considered a sin. Um, there's so many different sins that many of us have committed, okay? But uh, the good news is that uh, Christ died for us so that we can be redeemed from our sins okay um so that's why every day we have to pick up our crosses and follow christ so that he can lead us to uh, the kingdom of heaven okay so um yeah, make sure you're reading this Bible. Okay. Make sure you're staying in prayer. So Christ is the key to the kingdom of heaven. Okay. He's actually yeah, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. Um, this life is temporary. Okay. It's a life that we have to leave behind someday. Okay, we're not here forever. But according to the Bible, um, there is the promise of the kingdom of heaven. Okay. After this life, if we repent of our sins and believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. So, uh, that should be, you know, this is all that truly matters in this life is that, um, we live for Christ, okay? It's our salvation, okay? We have to work out our own salvation, the Bible says, okay? Um, and, you know, I also want to talk about the body of Christ as well. Okay? Uh, all of us that are in Christ, we make up the body of Christ. Um, we are knitted together through the power of the Holy Ghost, okay? So in the body of Christ, there must be unity, okay? We're, again, knitted together by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is no division in the body, okay? We're not divided by race. We're not, the, we're not divided by class. So, you know, class meaning it doesn't matter, uh, if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're part of the working class, middle class, like it does not matter, okay? In the body of Christ, because we're all knitted in the body of Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, so, uh, you know, in the body of Christ, we're supposed to edify one another. You know, we're supposed to build each other, pray for each other, um, and also be charitable. Like, if a, another member of the body of Christ needs resources or money, you should be kind enough to lend to another member of the body of Christ. Because um, if you knew anything about Jesus' disciples or the apostles, they had a fellowship. That's why they refer to each other as brothers in Christ, okay? Because they had this fellowship, okay? Um, so that's what this body of Christ is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a fellowship, okay? That's why we're also referred to as brothers and sisters in Christ. Okay, this is your church family, okay? This really, sh this really is your real family, okay? The church is really your real family, okay? Because uh, I know that some of your family members may not 
believe in Christ, that may not follow Christ. So, uh, <laughs> so um, that's why, you know, the, the church, those that are in Christ, um, those are your real family members. Okay. Um, so uh, the body of Christ, uh, we're supposed to represent love because God is love, okay? Um, peace, love, and peace. We're supposed to demonstrate to the world uh, what it means, you know, to love and, uh, you know, basically we're supposed to demonstrate to the, to the world uh, God's love, okay? Because this is a world without love, okay? Many people have a lot of hate in their hearts. A lot of people in the world are divided, okay? Um, but in the body, there there shouldn't there should be no division, okay? Uh, we're supposed to, it's supposed to be uh, unity in the body, okay? Um, and also, you know, you shouldn't be jealous of another brother in, or sister in Christ. You shouldn't be jealous of another brother or sister in Christ, okay? Because uh, maybe you think because they may have more money than you or um, whatever reason you may be jealous of another brother or sister in Christ you know you shouldn't be jealous of anybody you know okay you, you need to learn to be content with your own life okay God has given you everything that you need um, I'm pretty sure he has you know so please do not be jealous of anybody be content with your own life okay this is where you'll find happiness, inner peace, joy, okay? Just rest in the Holy Spirit, okay? You'll find happiness, peace, and joy. You'll learn to be content with your own life, okay? Um... Yeah, please repent of your sins, you know, if you're still smoking weed, if you're still drinking alcohol, if you're still uh, participating in pre-marital sex, please repent of your sins. Um, please, you know, give your life to Christ and continue to live for Christ. Um... A lot of people, um, what is it? A lot of Christians, should we have uh, a lot of hate in their hearts? Um, but I think it, it has a lot to do with people's environments, okay? Or maybe people's upbringings. Which is why you know they're very hateful towards uh, certain people. You know, maybe because of people's like race or uh, their class in our society. So you know, maybe you look down on certain people. Maybe you hate it. You hate certain people because of what you've been uh, programmed to believe by our society. You know that certain races are better than another race or certain people are better than other people because you know they have more money but uh that's just an illusion okay um that's not the truth remember god created every single one of us okay and god does not judge people based on you know race and how much money you have he looks at your heart god looks at your heart that's what he's going to be judging us on you know our hearts how pure how good our hearts are you know okay it's all about how you treat other people you know um this this is who this is what truly defines you know who you are it's how you treat others okay 
especially those that are less fortunate okay that's how god is able to really test your character okay sometimes he puts you in a situation where um you come across somebody that is less fortunate and you know god is just he wants to test you he wants to see you know like how are you going to treat that person you know will you treat them res with respect will you disrespect them you know so you know god a lot of the times you know he does test our characters no but make sure you know um to stop judging people you know based on you know race and, and how much money people make make sure to stop doing this okay please repent change your heart Um, uh, so yeah, um, Christ, Christ. You know, I did a video today about, you know, as to why, or excuse me, uh, I did a video yesterday about, you know, why, why do Christians reject the poor but accept the rich? Okay, and I mentioned that Christ was poor himself, you know? Christ was very much poor. So it doesn't make sense, you know, for you to reject the poor if you're a Christian, if our Lord and Savior was poor himself, okay? Which is why, you know, I choose to dress, I dress down on my YouTube channel, you know. I do dress down, you know. Cause that's, that's the best way to actually expose people's characters, you know. Um, like I said earlier, you know. Because a lot of people treat people based on how people look or how, you know, how much money you think somebody may have, you know. Status, or what status you think. What status uh, you think somebody may be of? This is how people treat people, you know, based on these things. So that's why I do dress down on my channel, okay? So that uh, we can expose, you know, these inner demons or people's poor characters, okay? Because I think God wants people to repent from this, okay? If you read the Bible, you would know that, um, I think his name is John the Baptist. You would know that John the Baptist, he wore sackcloth. Okay, John the Baptist was poor. He was homeless. He wore sackcloth. Okay. But it didn't matter about how John the Baptist dressed. Okay, what truly mattered was the fact that he was a faithful servant. Okay. He would baptize people at the Jordan River. He always preached about repentance, okay? He was a very faithful servant, John the Baptist. So that's all that mattered, okay? It was that he truly believed in Christ and he did the will of God. That's what truly mattered, okay? It, it didn't matter about, you know, whether John the Baptist was poor or if he was homeless or how poorly dressed he was. It didn't matter. But it was the fact that uh, his heart was in the right place, okay? He truly believed in our Lord and and savior he was even beheaded for his beliefs john the baptist was killed for his beliefs um
Um, so yeah, today's video, the message is salvation. Again, what is salvation? Salvation is, you know, believing in Jesus Christ. And when we believe in Christ, our belief in Christ, you know, delivers us from our sins and the consequences of our sins. Okay. So please, you know, continue to have faith in Christ. Continue to read your Bible. Okay. Stay in prayer. Continue to believe in Christ. That's all that matters in this life. Okay. It's Christ. Let Christ reign in your heart. Okay. Remember that God and Jesus loves you daily. Okay. Everything in this life will fade. Okay. But um, Christ, you know, our love for Christ will remain. Okay. Our, our love for Christ will remain. Okay. But everything in this life fades. So I think that's the end of this. So I'll just end this with a prayer. So Father God, please bless everybody that will see this. Please change our hearts so that we can live for Christ day by day. Um, help us to repent of our sins. Turn back to you, God. Help us to read our Bibles and to stay in prayer. Um, watch over us, God. Protect us. Let your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So thank you all for watching. God bless every single one of you.